In this demonstration, I'll show you how to set up and solve a half-life problem using a table of values. This is question number one. The question reads, caffeine has a half-life of approximately five hours. Suppose you drink a cup of coffee that contains 200 milligrams of caffeine. How long will it take until there is less than 10 milligrams of caffeine in your bloodstream? Use a table of values on a graphing calculator to determine the solution. Now we won't use a graphing calculator for this particular example, but we will create a table of values manually. Remember, half-life is the time required for a quantity of a drug or a substance to reduce by half. Now what you'll need to be successful in this question is knowledge of this formula. And what this formula tells us is that Y, which represents your final amount, and this can be any letter, is equal to C, which is the initial amount, times half, this fraction right here, to the power of t over h, where t represents the time and h represents the half-life. What we are told is the initial amount, c, is equal to 200 milligrams. We're also told that the half-life, h, is equal to 5. And we're also told the final amount, y, is equal to 10 milligrams. What they want us to do is find out how long it will take for 200 to reach 10. So let's set up a table of values and notice that y here is representing our dependent variable and our independent variable is c. Usually we use x and y, in this case we're using c and y. So my table of values will look like this where I have c and my dependent variable will be y. Usually you put the independent in the first column and the dependent in the second column. And what I'll do is start off at time zero. To find out the quantity at time zero, I'm going to set up my equation. 10 is equal to 200 bracket half to the power of t over 5. And I'm going to use my calculator to find out what my y value will be when I place zero into this equation. So 200 times half, which I'm representing by 0.5, to the power of 0 over 5. And I end up with 200. Let's write that in. Let's try it one hour. So what I'll do next is plug in 1 in place of that 0, and I end up with 174 approximately. So after one hour, caffeine goes from being 200 milligrams to 174. I'm just going to write down mg here and hr for clarity. Let's see what happens after two hours. After two hours, we have 151. 0.5. Now, according to the question, at 5 hours, the half-life is reached. So at 5, we know it's going to be 100. Now, let's skip a few more. Let's jump all the way to 10. After 10 hours, there will be 50 milligrams. But remember, they want us to find out when it will be less than 10. So we got to go even further. Let's try 15. At 15, 25 milligrams. So still not at the point that we want it. Let's jump to 25. We end up with 6.25. So that's a little bit below 10. Now, can we do a little bit better? Let's try 20. At 20, we have 12.5. The amount that we're looking for, the time, needs to be between 20 and 25. Let's try one more. Let's try 22. At 22, we have 9.47. And that's the best we can do before going into decimal numbers that are slightly less than 22. So we can assume that after 22 hours, so therefore, after 22 hours, the amount of caffeine will decrease to approximately 10 milligrams. And there you have it. That is how to set up and solve a half-life problem using a table of values. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.